Good evening my YouTubers, this is Dan Drepsky for this new updated video for February 14th, 2022 and today is Valentine's Day and this is the things I got from last week when I was in the thrift store and this and that and a few things I bought from eBay. Things have been so really bad these days uh, around, around the world because Last week it started with this thing with the, it happened in Russia with this, uh, with this Ukraine, with this, um, Ukraine shortage, something like that. And prices is going up skyrocketing like gas, bills, and food, and, and, and everything. And hurting these little businesses too. Let's hope things will be better, I hope. Blame it on the, blame it on the goddamn Donald Trump. No, not Donald Trump. Blame it on Biden. Not not Donald Trump. Donald Trump is trying to like lower down prices, but Biden was the one he's raising prices. Yep, blame it on Biden. And today it was Valentine's Day, and um, and the weather out there today is so cold. But last week it was so warm a lot. It was warm for about, uh, about four or five days. Yeah, and then like the, like the week before it was warm too, uh, for like a little bit. Let's begin with one of the VHS tapes I got it from the thrift store or from the, or from eBay and, and such, yep. Let's start with one of the, one of the best 1984 films. Like Eddie Murphy as Axel Foley in the original Beverly Hills Cop. It's a 1985 original Paramount Golf Western Company Paramount Home Video. And you know, well, one of my previous updated video for the Beverly Hills Cop VHS I showed you was the 1989 reissue. And guess what? The 89 reissue I put it on, put it on YouTube. I sold it recently of my previous eBay items. Here's the original st vertical sticker label. This tape was printed it on the 45th week of 1985. Long as I don't have the 1986 reissue like the Paramount 75th Anniversary Collection. Now I got here some three of the Lost Honeymooners tapes from the original Jackie Gleason show. Volume 2 and it's uh, not the original 1985 release. It's the 1988 reissue from... MPI Home Video, and it has Songs and Witty Sayings from May 14, 1955, and Norton Moves In from April 18, 1953. This is not the original, this is a re, this is a reissue. And the tape was reprinted it too. Yep, has the, um, ink vertical label. And also, at the end of this tape, has a TV Classics promo and a different FBI warning screen. So, I guess this tape is the 1990s reprint, probably 92. Another Honeymoon's tape called The Honeymoon's Lost Episodes of Funniest Moments 2. How sweet it is. Jackie Gleason's phrase. And it has some clips from, like, one of the Lost Honeymoon's episodes footages. Even the Gleason's characters, uh, like the Poor Soul and Reggie Van Gleason, and many more. 1990 release from MPI Home Video, and and this is a vertical stick label. Mm -hmm. This tape has got to be in 90 or 91. I don't need this. I think I had this on DVD for this one in a uh, in a 2000 release. And I got here a third Honeymoon's Lost episode VHS, The Great Gleason, 1987 release from MPI Home Video. Mm -hmm. That's the exact copy I showed you that from my previous videos. I think I showed you that for like the Christmas and New Year's update video of 2022. Just recently. Okay... Here's the Holy Grail VHS tape I bought from eBay this week. That is 
1985 key video release of Soldier in the Rain, starring with Steve McQueen and Jackie Gleason, directed also co-stars with Tuesday Wine, Tony Bill, Ed Nelson, Tom Parson, directed by Ralph Nelson, and and it's the uh, Blank Edwards production, the one who directed the Pink Panther. Breakfast at Tiffany's with Audrey Hepburn, and he was married to Julie Andrews. Originally, this film was released from in 1963 from art, from El, from Eldon Artists, and it's been distributed by Limar D D Distribution International, the same duplicate for House on the House on the Haunted Hill and Al Capone. This is the next rental tape. In, I found out in the late 1970s, Soldier in the Ring was out on VHS and beta from from um, Ellen Artist Entertainment. When they had the Sherlock Holmes movies were out on beta and VHS. That's the one I showed you that from my previous update video. This is a key video release when it's been distributed by CBS Fox Video. Now I got here... Um, I got here a movie with Clint Eastwood in Heartbreak Ridge. Clint Eastwood is the top from It Make Your Day by W.A.B.C. T.B. Joe Siegel. And this is the 1990 reissue of this from Warner Home Video. Originally it came out in early 1987. Here's the, a reprint of this from the, the late 90s. This tape was printed it on... December 14, 1997. Now I got here a Sunday Super Bowl, a history of the Super Bowl. I got this in the thrift store recently. This is the 1988 release from Fox Hills Video and NFL Films. I showed you that from my previous update video. And this is like, considered to be like a reprint. I'll be selling that with the other sports tapes for the very near future. And oh, I don't know what this is, but we're going to check it out. And, and here's the tape with no box. I do it with Debbie's Way, like some kind of like a, a workout program. Something I used to have on VHS. I think on this tape has some other celebrities with Debbie Reynolds had Virginia Mayo and Jane Parrell. This tape was printed on May 30th, 1985, a day after a Bob Hope's 82nd birthday. And this tape is probably distributed by Ray Max Productions, I guess. And and Brown Stern Productions too. I used to have that on VHS when I lived in New York. I think I put that in one of... I think I saw it in, in my previous sports tapes. Here's some more pre-recorded VHSs. Here's the NGM UA home video release of the cartoon movie stars has Bugs Bunny cartoons from the 1940s. This is the 1988 release and it has like some episodes like... Bugs Bunny and the Three Bears, Bugs Bunny Gets Bored, The Gorilla of My Dreams, Hair Ribbon, Tortoise Wins by a Hair, Baseball Bugs, and Rabbit trans a Transit. Yep. This is so popular back then. And Jim, your way home video you used to do like those, uh, the cart, the cart, the cartoon movie star series. Here's a vertical sticker label. Has the uh, and it has a barcode on there, no print date. Now I got here some uh, adventures in Ivy tapes. This first one we got here is episode one, The Night's Travelers. This is the 1991 release from. Focus of the Family, probably by the video distributor. That's got to be the distributor. The one that had like the uh, the Mac and Me tapes in there. 
Doesn't say print dates. Every cassette in this series, it has like a booklet that tells us like like what happened in the in the episodes or something. Yep. And this next one we got here is another one of the adventures of obviously episode two. It is a fly to the finish. And it's like a little reprint. And it has a, a, a slip cardboard. It was released from Focus on the Family. Here's like the original tape, what it, what it looks like. And, and here's the 8 volume, like the 8 episode of Adventures of Obviously, it is Go West, Young Man. That was kind of be distributed by Focus on the Family. Mm -hmm. This is, All these tapes were just the ex-library rentals. Here's the vertical ink label. This tape was printed it on January 8, 1996. And here's a movie that stars with Alan Ladd in Brandon. That was that was made 1950 from Paramount. And um, this is one of Alan Ladd's top westerns, just like with Shane. By Madeline Henry and Ron D. Sterling's The Films of Alan Ladd. 1990 Paramount Gulf Western Company. I think it's 1990 Paramount The Communications Company. This is the sack releases with Bobble's Fancy Pants. Printed at 90. This tape was printed it on the 17th week of 90. Here's some two VHS blanks I got. This t first tape it has the uh, every time we. It has, like, the movie Scrooge with Bill Murray's taped it off on HBO in the early 1990s. And here's this tape. It has the, uh, Something Olympics, probably in the late 80s. It was taped off on ABC7. And I got here a couple of, I got here, like, a, another eBay item I got this week. That is like two of the three studios Betamax tapes. Let's start with volume three. It has an ache of every steak, corn oil curls, and pop goes the easel. This is the late 1983 reissue from RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video. I have an exact copy of it on, on VHS. I'll show you what this tape looks like. Mm -hmm. But in the past, I showed you some three studios uh, beta tapes. From my previous update, like volume 5, 9, and 10. This is the late 1983 sticker label. Mm -hmm. This tape was printed it on approximately. Hold on. Sticker label's falling off. Eleven week of 1984. And you know. This third Three Studios volume in the late 1983 reissue, it had, doesn't have a Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment logo, and it has no FBI warning screens from 1979 and 1982. This, here's another Three Studios beta tape. It's volume 4, the late 1983 reissue that has the, the first Columbia Pictures show but the boys did was Woman Haters, 1934, then we got three little beers and tassel in the air. This is the late 1983 reissue. I paid about $31 for it. Here's what this stick label looks like. Mm -hmm. This tape was printed it on a 28 week of 1984. That was like that was like weeks before they had the four three series volume in a reissue 
in late 1984. And that's the, uh, that includes the VHSs and Bader. Here's some bonuses. Here's a book I got last week in the thrift store. It's called The Genius of the Systems by Thomas Siltz. Yep. This book was released in in Phantom in uh, or maybe by Random House in 1990. And this book has some uh, things like when they have like the movies the movie systems throughout the 30s up into the 50s from NGM to Warner Bros. to Columbia. There's a cover on the set with Jeanette McDonald in uh, Love Me Tonight in 1932 with Marie Chivalier. Warner Brothers Powers plays the prisoned NGM Life After Trenberg. That That's on the set with the props. There's a picture of Joan Crawford with Michael Corzette. Probably was making Mildred Peters at the time. There's a pretty good book. And finally, before we close this update video, here's the something I got it from the thrift store. It is it is my new sweatpants. And it's like extra extra large. And it's about four ninety nine. And this is the man's pants, not the woman's pants, thank God. It looks so beautiful in it, and I and I tried it on in the fitting area, but it I got this in like in the uh, the good the Goodwill at the Casuna at the Casuna Mall last week. I tried it on, and I'll be wearing it on eventually soon after this video ends. So that includes my updated video on Valentine's Day of February fourteenth, two thousand twenty-two. Let's hope this thing with the with the thing with this uh, with this Ukrainian in Russia will try to die down. Yep, and maybe by then prices will drop down. I don't know when, and I don't know when this godforsaken pandemic ends. It keeps it keeps spreading, but but for a while it's been going down. So dress uh, dress warmly tonight. It's just gonna be cold overnight and. Uh, I'll see you next time when we do more of these update videos. Until then, this is Daniel Drupski, your cameraman, saying so long for this new updated video, and I'll see you next time. Try to subscribe if you like the video or not. Goodbye, folks, and happy Valentine's Day. Bye.